out here we are trying to read a hand of a person uh, whom I gave a reading I am just making a video of his uh, arm I will tell you some few important uh, lines in his hand and uh, there is one skin pattern which is very unique uh, we are not able to see it uh, on this in this particular video it's between the first and the second finger this is a pattern like this and uh, whenever we see a pattern like this it is uh, it is a rare pattern skin pattern and it's called a raja loop in books by raja look uh, loop it means traditionally in traditional book it means that uh, such persons ancestors might be in a high position uh, maybe near to government or uh, near to the king uh, but uh, uh, we uh, but uh, basically i consider it in a different way i say that uh, as it is found uh, under the finger of jupiter it's uh, between the finger of jupiter and saturn uh, on the mount between the mounts of uh, jupiter and saturn so it gets both the qualities of uh, the saturn as well as jupiter it means that the person uh, uh, would gain from uh, politics, uh, religion uh, and administration as well as this is the area of uh, this is the area of a Jupiter the qualities I have just told you and this is the qualities of a Saturn. Saturn is basically for materialism, money, possessions, be it land, properties uh, and anything under the earth. Uh, so gains coming through uh, uh, that particular sphere. Uh, he is into betting field and uh, uh, for uh, for this thing we see basically the third finger the third finger is the finger of sun whenever it is long uh, compared to the first finger uh, the first finger is for jupiter and third is for the sun finger sun finger also depicts creativity art music or these spheres of life we find that both these uh, fingers are nearly the same uh, nearly the same length but whenever uh, you, you see that the uh, Saturn finger is nearly, uh, nearly as much as the, uh, sat as the Saturn finger, uh, it, it means that the person might uh, go into uh, uh, gambling or, or, gambling or uh, too much of intoxication. But out here we don't see uh, this possibility. Yet he is into uh, into the betting field and uh, uh, for that we see the one more aspect we see how good the calculations are uh, he says that he makes calculations and uh, uh, he's good at that for that we see the headline this is the headline and this is the this is the money line that that's coming uh, these are the money lines uh, this is the headline and this is the money line basically any line going towards the third uh, the the second finger is known as the fate line or the money line uh, or the saturn line and uh, we are seeing out here the headline the headline is uh, kind of uh, uh, going like this and there's an upward curve it's taking uh, and moving towards the mount of uh, mercury mercury is the mount for calculations, technical skills, business skills, all these skills basically come from this particular area. For businessmen, for scientists, for mathematicians, for statistics, people into statistics, for people who, uh, uh, who, are good, uh, who are engineering background or doctors or good orators or politicians. So this area becomes very important. So if the line, the headline moves upward towards the uh, this particular mount it means that the person would gain uh, due to his good calculation abilities we also find here that there are few perpendicular lines over it having perpendicular lines over it basically makes a person uh, uh, having few set of skills and it it might mean that the person would gain through communication and and his uh, technical expertise uh, out here what is unique about this hand is that uh, there is not one but multiple headlines and uh, this is the point where, where the transformation is taking place 
and this area basically is approximately the age of 35. Right now he is aged 34 and uh, few changes uh, uh, are going to take place in his thought process. He, he would be a very different personality in time to come. It would be very difficult to recognize him uh, if, we, if we meet the same person at, a, at an, uh, maybe once he's around 40. So uh, normally what happens is that the headline uh, remains nearly the same uh, all throughout our life. Uh, but when there, when there's a marked change uh, in, the, in the headline, we say that the personality undergoes a major change. Uh, if we see the left hand uh, there itself, uh, there's another change like uh, this, is the, uh, this is the headline. And this is also another headline which is going uh, close to the lifeline. So, uh, so, uh, so this basically means that uh, there, there might be uh, uh, his thought process uh, is very different from others or he, he's kind of like uh, two thought processes are continuously going or two strong personalities are there in his uh, 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 and uh, he is pulled by two personalities uh, within himself and uh, uh, and uh, sometimes uh, X comes in forward and sometimes the Y comes forward. So for himself, uh, he is, uh, uh, it, is, uh, it is easy for him, but people who are close to him might find it difficult to understand him. Uh, uh, we also see the heart line. The heart line is starting under the finger of uh, Saturn. Saturn is basically for materialism. Uh, and materialistic outlook and the person who is more physical, uh, physical. Uh, they like physical love more and they like, uh, uh, like, they like money and these people are also responsible by nature. And these people basically uh, uh, are responsible towards people they care about. So the, this is one more aspect uh, which makes a person gain more money. Basically businessmen Heartline starts under the finger of Saturn, and Saturn depicts money, possessions, land, properties, jewelry, money, everything. Uh, and these people want, they seek basically a beautiful partner uh, because outer appearances are very much important to them. Uh, these people also might go in for an arranged marriage because, uh, uh, because if, if they don't find a good, uh, beautiful partner from a good family, they, they might prefer a, uh, uh, to uh, go in for, uh, uh, for an arranged marriage because arranged marriages, you look for these things, uh, the outer appearances as well as uh, the money part we see in arranged marriages. In the headline, we come back to the headline, the headline uh, and the lifeline has, has got a gap, so it makes the person rash by nature uh, and the person doesn't uh, look for consequences and they just jump into uh, whatever, uh, whatever they want to do at that particular given moment of time. We do find that uh, on the left hand as well, uh, there are few perpendicular lines over the uh, Mount of Mercury, which, which means that uh, the person is skilled. Uh, we go back to the headline, uh, which is uh, this headline I've already told you, but there's another headline which is going close to the lifeline. Uh, this makes a person very cautious and hardworking. Uh, the headline is drooping towards the amount of moon. Uh, whenever the headline is drooping towards the amount of moon, the person has got very good visualization skills and uh, the person is very romantic by nature. We find here another uh, remarka remarkable thing that is uh, the lifeline is kind of ending out here, but another one with a bigger circle is kind of starting from outer. So this is the uh, period of transformation and uh, uh, the, the age uh, 35, what I've told you, this could be the year of change. So, uh, so uh, having a, a lifeline that is new lifeline which is kind of encircling uh, the older lifeline, it means more energy levels or more vitality coming to that particular person. In general, we see that the person loses vitality as the person grows older, but we are seeing the reverse out here. Uh, we move back to the another uh, uh, 
uh, image of the same palm, uh, same person, and uh, and I just look at another image. So uh, uh, another aspect is that uh, the money line. This is the money line. Uh, this is the main money line, and there's another money line like these. So these money lines basically are joining in into the uh, uh, this particular line that is going towards the mount of uh, mount of Saturn. Uh, these lines are joining it. So whenever we see lines like this joining in into the main um, uh, money line, we say benefits coming to this particular person from uh, from unknown people, uh, friends. Or, or after marriage, uh, they gain much more. Uh, so this aspect is seen uh, in this particular hand that after marriage, uh, he would gain more. Uh, or uh, this particular age is approximately uh, 22. This could be around 32 uh, or probably 31. Uh, so, uh, so gains coming to this person at this particular age. And the uh, another aspect to look at is uh, we. This is the headline, with, and this is the this is the line where that continues till the end, and it is much more clearer towards the uh, towards uh, after uh, after the age of thirty five. This, if we consider this the age of thirty five benchmark, so it becomes much more clear. So, uh, if if a person has got a much clearer headline, it automatically means that there would be fewer problems in his life and the person would be able to manage stress and uh, there would be no such uh, problem uh, that the person might face. We also, uh, we also find that there are few upward lines that are going from the headline towards the, towards the, uh, mount, of, uh, towards the mount of Jupiter. It means that the person is forward looking and the person is, uh, and the person, uh, 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 seeks honor and position and these things are going to come and the respect would be there uh, in society. Other aspect to look at is this is the headline, this is another headline and this kind of a cross and it's kind of triangle formation out here. So uh, the, this point could be uh, an important period uh, in his life. It could be before the age of uh, 35, it could be 35, 34, 35, it could be 33 to 35. Uh, that's when uh, major gains might might come to him. And uh, uh, and uh, he would solidify his position uh, in life. We do find that the Mount of Venus is, uh, is, uh, is quite prominent. It makes a person who has got great amount of desire for, for beauty, uh, love, affection, he is very affectionate and uh, lots of stamina and uh, the stamina does not uh, diminish even at an old age. So uh, the person would keep on, uh, uh, keep, on uh, uh, keep on working even at an old age. As far as the sun line goes, the image, uh, we do not see clarity in the image, that is the reason. Uh, we can't really uh, comment uh, how good the career is going to be, but uh, if we see good possibilities in the hand, uh, then we automatically say that uh, things are going to be uh, uh, good for this particular person. The uh, the sun line is basically uh, the the line for career. If if a person has got a stable sun line, it automatically means a stable career. Uh, if a person has got very dim kind of line or broken kind of line, the person keeps on changing his, his work uh, and uh, uh, a wavy kind of line also does not give, a wavy kind of line does not give result. Uh, the person shifts from one area of work to the another area of work. So having a stable clear cut uh, sun line, even if it is short or even if it is totally absent. Even if there is no line at all, it is considered to be good. It means that the per, there would be unlimited possibilities uh, uh, in, in his hand. We find uh, that the area of uh, 
uh, Mercury and uh, Jupiter has got good amount of padding as well, which means that good amount of technical skills as well as administrative and political skills are there in this particular person's hand. And uh, we go back to the original image, the first image we are talking about. Uh, as far as money goes, uh, there, there should be much more stability that, that should come to this particular person as the money line is quite distinct and clear and straight going towards the amount of uh, Saturn. So good indications even uh, in this particular image, we see a line like this, it's quite stable uh, and moving towards between the Mercury and the Sun finger, so it's a it's a good indication to have uh, this line, uh, and uh, the upward branch from headline is a good indication. Uh, the he uh, the headline that's clear is another good indication for uh, clarity in your thought process. Uh, the only uh, uh, major thing that's different in his hand is uh, that the headlines there's not one but two or three, uh, it would make the person complicated and uh, difficult to understand. Another aspect uh, to see on his hand is that uh, uh, the image quality is not good, but I'll try to draw it o over his hand uh, so that you come to know what, uh, what I'm referring to. There's normally uh, a, a triradii skin pattern that's somewhere uh, close to out here. Uh, and uh, we don't see this triradii skin pattern, uh, uh, skin pattern in this particular hand. It's kind of shifted somewhere to this particular point. So the triradii I'm just going to draw again. Th this is shifted to this particular area. Uh, this is skin pattern, these are not lines and they're another uh, triradius which we find at the base of the fingers. It's on all of the bases out, out here. It could be, they could have be shifted towards, but we are just referring uh, this particular uh, triradii, this particular triradii and this particular only three triradias we are referring to, four, sorry, four. Uh, we have, uh, we, I'm going to draw a line from the mercury triradii to the base of the mount and going to the Jupiter mount. So uh, we, we find that uh, our angle is formed and the angle is approximately 25 degrees. Now we we go back to draw another uh, line like this from the mercury triradii and a triradii out here and to the Jupiter triradii. So a bigger angle is formed approximately 35 degrees. So uh, in, the, in his hand we find a triradii tri here but we don't find a radii at this part. This radii we don't find uh, the second one. Uh, it's uh, it is uh, it is seen that if a triradii has shifted from this particular area to this particular area downwards towards the fingers, uh, it means that there could be some genetically uh, genetic related problems. Uh, but uh, uh, this research is being done by doctors, not by uh, not by palmist, uh, and uh, there are many more things to calculate. Uh, we just don't. We just just by seeing that the triradia is shifted towards uh, the this particular area or a little bit at this particular area, we can't conclusively say there that there could be a problem. But uh, 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 but there are many more things that needs to be seen by doctors. Uh, like uh, they see how many skin ridges are from this point to this point. Uh, the other trait area, that basically uh, matters more and there could be mo much many more things that need to be referred to. Uh, 
as far as this word reading goes, uh, uh, I have completed my reading. If you like the video, click on the like button and do subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.